Round number seven, scheduled for 15, the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad and White has got his hands full with the challenger, Yaki Lopez. Tim, at the end of that last round, Muhammad was in a little trouble. He got hit with a lot of good punches. Now I notice that they put a lot of heavy Vaseline over Yaki's both eyes, hoping that he doesn't bust up. Well, he has a slight cut between the eyes. Muhammad had a slight cut at the corner of the right eyebrow, way back in round two, that has not had any further damage done to him. Sam Solomon is screaming at, uh, at Muhammad, get off, get off, get off. He's already said it 20 times this round. He has just said it again. Lopez has been magnificent through the first six rounds. On our cards, we have him comfortably ahead in this fight, but of course, that doesn't mean a thing the way uh, everybody sees boxing so subjectively. But uh, it would certainly appear that by any objective standard, uh, he is leading this fight. Sam Solomon exhorting his man from the corner, the veteran trainer, and Sonny Liston, among others. He's, he's telling uh, Muhammad not to let Yaki rest, but it's Muhammad that's tired. You're right, his mouth has been open since the middle of round number six. He's breathing more heavily than Lopez at this point. Good left hook from Muhammad. That's his best punch. He's well known for, but Lopez comes right back in. Takes to the body himself. Lopez firing away here, up and down, to the body and the head. Very cool, Tim. Very, very cool. He's picking the spots he faints first. superstition that a new baby brings you a lot of luck, Tim, but it looks, right now it looks like that's what's happening with Yankee Lopez. Big baby, too, 11.1 pounds. His wife Beatrice is here with his other boy, Yaki, three-year-old Yaki. Raising left hook from Yaki Lopez, under a minute to go, round seven. Oh, good left there. That jolted Lopez, the best punch of the fight for Muhammad. A short left hook. Him because in one side and gets out the back of your head. They're stiff jams. Under 30 seconds to go, round seven. Well, Lopez took that real good shot and did not let it bother him at all. Muhammad showing again a little fatigue. Team, they're always fun to watch in the Swamp Buggy Championships. It all starts here at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Tim Ryan with Gil Clancy and Dick Stockton, round number eight of a terrific light heavyweight championship fight, WBC version. The champion is on the right and white. Yaki Lopez, the challenger in blue. Mohamed came after him at the start of this round with a little faster pace, Tim. He just seems to be walking after him now. Maybe that second win we were talking about. We'll see. Lopez in a furious exchange. But Lopez is now cut badly, Tim. Looks like he's cut badly. I think it's the same cut that's been reopened between his eyes. And that could develop into a factor here. And he has been doing a great job so far. Mohammed, no doubt, will try to take advantage of that. It looks like it's a cut now over the right eye, Tim. Yeah, it's a bad one. We'll be watching it closely. And Lopez, who has been the dominant force through this fight from the second round on, now in trouble with the cut. And Mohammed sensing it, going to work. Lopez flat-footed against the ropes. He hasn't been there before. Solidly landing now. Lopez is picking a lot of them off. 
super effort. He knew it was his last chance, and he sure, he sure is. What a fight. His fourth try for the light heavyweight championship finally slows down after that furious pace. And Muhammad now gets something going. The champion turns him around, but Lopez lands a left hook. Eighth round, scheduled for 15. Hard to imagine it'll go that long. Lopez weary now, finally. Missed that punch badly. Muhammad a good uppercut. Well, here comes the strength of Muhammad. Under 30 seconds to go in the eighth round. Another wild miss by Lopez. Muhammad misses. They're both arm weary now. The left uppercut lead, but Lopez picked it up. action from round eight and you could have picked any 10 seconds uh, of that round it was tremendous Lopez finally up against the ropes for the first time in the whole fight but he battled his way out right there as he literally backed Muhammad out into the middle of the ring now they're working on that cut and Gil I think it's the same one between the eyes it simply got opened up a little bit more it didn't look like they had, had done anything else except to work on the same spot well the referee has taken a fast lean off the cut he took that to take the fast lean off the cut I don't know if that was the right thing to do. It was a little heavy, but you should you leave something on there for protection. And it's round number nine. The referee is Valdemar Schmidt from Puerto Rico, appointed by the WBC. This is the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. Next week, the WBA version, here on the Sports Spectacular. And August 2nd, Aaron Pryor and Antonio Cervantes for the Junior Welterweight Championship of the WBA. That should be a dandy. Big right hand swing by Muhammad, and it landed. That's that strength, Tim. He has the strength. Ninth round scheduled for 15. Lopez in blue, the champion Muhammad in white. Again, Sam Solomon is saying, don't let him rest. Don't let him rest. But I think they both need a rest after that great last round. We've had a furious pace here right from the opening bell. The crowd here has been very involved in this fight. Anybody would have to be. It's been action-packed. There's a lot of emotion. The fourth try at the title for Yaki Lopez, 28 years of age, from Stockton, California. The champion defending for the fourth time. Matthew Saad Muhammad, the orphan from Philadelphia. Gil, it seems to me that Muhammad doesn't have the same snap in his punches that he had a couple of rounds ago. Well, they're, they're both tired, Tim, and you know, he's, mo he's mostly an arm puncher. Anyhow, he depends on, that, on those big muscles. But fellas with big muscles have a tendency to get tired. Pace is finally slowed here in the ninth round, as to be expected. The champion has got to make something happen the way we see this fight at this point. Well, the corner did a good job on the cuts uh, with Yankee Lopez. There's no blood at all. Maybe it was Baltimore Schmidt when he put that pressure on when he took the grease off. Anyway, he's not bleeding, so it's not a factor right now. See October 25th. 